Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. I told you I had a bunch of campers video, did I not? We got all these here, and then I got a bunch more coming in next week, eight I believe. So we're gonna have some videos rolling out for quite some time now. Uh, today I wanted to show you the used 2021 Lance 960 that we received. This is actually the first 960 that I uh, received, like at my dealership, you know, at all. Um, they traded in on a 22 960, so for the first time in a long time, I get to do a video on a camper that's actually available today. Uh, when it sells, I'll put sold in the description or in the title or some, something like that. But anyways, this one is available today. It's a 2021 Lance 960. Uh, trucks that work with this one's going to be your long bed 3500 or 350 series single rear wheel or fat butts. See, we got the swing outs here so you can park the fat booties underneath it. But yes, this one works with a single rear wheel or dual rear wheel long bed 350 or 450 or 3500 series uh, pickup truck. This one comes in weighing at 3,447 pounds dry. And everybody wants to know the price. This one's going to be listed at 55,000. First one to bring the money gets the camper. This one right here has got just about every option that you could add on for 2021. Swing out brackets. Let me make sure all my compartments are unlocked. Get a little view of the Trimacomi system there. That's your all in one. All right, hang on. Yeah, it might help if I have these things unlocked for you. But this is the Trimacomi system. Um, it's the all in one deal where you have your furnace and your tankless heater all in one. Um, it's supposed to be an uh, endless stream of hot water, so that's real cool. And it's got its own little built in hand warmer over here as well. That's not really what that is, but that's what I use them for. This right here is where you fill your fresh water tank. Non pressurized water from the garden hose will fill your 45 gallons there. You can take up to 45 gallons of fresh water on the go with you. All electric jacks around all four corners. 30 amp plug. All your campground connections are going to be on your driver's side. City water connection, black water flush, and the Lance plug. This is the weird one of the bunch that has the Lance plug in the back. Right here is going to be your main drop. This is where you dump your gray and black water. Uh, let's see, gray water I believe was 30 gallons and black water is 28 gallons. Let me double check myself. Yes, I'm right. 30 gallons on the gray and 28 on the black water. And then what you see to the left here is going to be your cold and hot water line drains and your fresh water tank drain. Give you a little side view there's your patio light so this one right here has two automatic awnings uh it's got the side power awning with the built-in wind sensing where if it gets too windy it rolls itself back in and then you have the rear one the rear one does not have that but it's still a power awning really nice and handy when you walk outside and it's pouring down rain and you don't get drenched you got the uh, rear docking lights there rear patio light backup camera parking satellite connections uh let's see you got carry a quarter with you and you can open that and that's where you're going to find where you can uh put your sewer hose let's see we'll fold down step there onboard generator so this one right here is actually the only one uh the only non slide out model that you can get the onboard generator option looks like that right there needs to be taped up your rear battery compartments right here this one does have the all season package so uh, as long as you got your furnace going you're not going to have anything freezing up on you it's got the insulated door hatches with um, ducted heat going to them it's got the closed in basement uh, so as long as you have the furnace going you're going to be supplying heat to the basement area but that 
that generator right there alone is like a five thousand dollar option something like that so um if you if you spec out the pro or the price of each option that goes on it and you know what these campers are made of you get your value real quick so let's see there's the side power awning with the led light strip the real one has the led light strip also outdoor speakers so we can tick off our neighbors rear patio light our expensive propane tanks right here those things are like 400 bucks and it's got a full propane tank over here and half over here so you buy this thing for 55 and you get quite a bit of propane give you a little side view this one's got the acrylic pop-out windows too i like those they kick out real nice and far and let a lot more light and air in all right let's go check out the roof all right here we are on the roof We've got our 100 watt solar panel this is a fully walk-on roof you don't have to worry about falling through the roof anywhere you step nice skylight 10k dramatic ac unit uh, it is wall controlled thermostat on the inside uh, lance load rack system that's pretty much it up here so we'll go back down all right heading on to the inside the only thing that i can really diss on this one is like the zero outdoor storage but they do make up for that on the inside here you have this huge basement pull out door that goes like almost all the way back in there so it is a nice size drawer to uh, store most of your belongings and then you have this massive closet when you walk in right here and then quite a bit more as you go into the camper but instead of skipping ahead we'll start right here so all your controls are right here on the right when you walk in battery disconnect switch both of your power awnings right here side rear awning lights entry light left right rear patio lights and docking lights so walking in also if you're you know outside or something need to get a brewski out of the camper your fridge is nicely conveniently placed right here and you can store a ton in there that's along with sandwich meats and you know ketchup and stuff that you put in there your tv box dinners go up here then like i showed you that's where your you know massive closet is key rack can't forget that there we go coat hanger if anybody still uses those and then this one's got the wet bath model it is nice and spacious in there it is fully fiberglassed in too it's not like a separated deal where you got like half plastic half fiberglass or you know the opposite this is fully fiberglassed in um that's what i like about it and it's you know rather roomy where they hide your toilet paper in here is that here there's your toilet paper holster nice and tucked away and away from getting wet there's your sink and then you got a little mirror with some storage behind the mirror a little medicine cabinet bathroom light and a fan to vent it out in here if you stink it up or need to air out the humidity all right so here's going to be your kitchen area it does have the cup sink covers to go over the sink there for more prep area if needed. You got your three burner stove top. And then you got you a little oven underneath. About big enough for a DiGiorno pizza. Microwaves tucked up nice and neat out of the way here. And then you got some more cabinets to the right of the microwave with some awesome tucked away lighting there soffit soffit lights soffit soffit there we go all right then of course you got your sink here it's not a split sink it's a single bowl sink that matters to some people um, right over here you'd never notice if I didn't point it out you got this like AC plug-in deal that pops right up out of there usb plugs at the bottom and three ac outlets so you can plug in your crock pot keurig 
slow cooker, insta cooker, whatever. Put it right in there. To the left here, that's where you control your Trumacomi system. Then you have storage. You can get you some trays to put in there and use it as like a pull out storage deal or whatever you want to use it for. There's where I get my weights. 3,793 pounds wet and then subtract 413 from that and you have your dry weight. But uh, with water and propane, you're looking at 3,793. And if you read the fine print, looks like you could weigh as much as 150 pounds more than that too. Buy the truck that'll do the job. It's not my responsibility to pick the truck out for you. I'll just tell you what the weights are and what it fits. This is not a storage uh, compartment either. This one doesn't have the sticker there telling you that. The uh, new ones do, but that's not a storage compartment. I guess that's just like an access door. What do we want to look at now? You want to see these theater chairs? Or not theater chairs, but captain chairs. There we go. This is the Java interior. For 21, you had Java, Platinum, and Royal to choose from. Java was your dark brown. Uh, platinum was your gray, like light gray. And then Royal was your midnight blue package. You have this table here that swings back and forth. You can both use it. You can steal it and use it for yourself if you're selfish or don't have anybody sitting next to you. Whatever you want to do. Right now I'm just going to put it out of the way. Alright, so here you have your acrylic dual pane windows. Day shades. And night shades. So you can definitely, you know, help keep the bugs out if you like to have them out like that. Kick them down. And shouldn't have any bugs getting through there maybe they can still crawl around it or whatnot but i mean when you're camping a bug's gonna get in a camper anyway so might as well embrace it this is a fall down bunk right here personally i just take all this out of there and use it for storage but um, if you have children that go with you you definitely have that option for a fall down bunk these are your little control panels where you control the ac unit and the uh let's see and the generator and the refrigerator on dc nobody ever uses that on dc i don't think i know uh when i tried it sucked my batteries dry and i got lithium batteries so i stay with gas and um ac there's our control panel to see what the solar panels put into our battery battery monitor to the left of it and then our control panel for the batteries fresh water black water and gray water water pump the clock that never works a little bit of storage over here to the right of your uh, theater or captain chairs and then you have AC plugins USB and DC outlets a little magazine rack all right so up here's your bed area queen size mattress 60 by 80 inches swing out TV you can swing it towards you in the bed if you want to see it you can swing it towards the uh, captain chairs over here if you want to sit down and relax let's see what else we've got let's see a uh, little pull up storage compartment over there a little pull out drawer there AC plug in AC plug in USB and DC outlets uh, so you can uh, CPAP users you've got AC outlets on both sides reading lamps skylight so your feet can see the stars a little storage there a little storage there and a radio that doesn't play blu-ray dvds figure that out the first night that's pretty much it in here i don't know what else i could show you oh shoot almost slipped i don't think i showed you all these drawers you want to see them if you don't just skip ahead all those are the same size then you have a little pull out drawer for I guess pots and pans underneath the oven storage there oh dude I forgot to show you the freaking trash can there we go can't forget the trash can all right all right everybody that's all I got for you today again that was the 2021 Lance 960 that I actually have available here give you another little side view of it 
But uh, if you think that you might want this camper, give me a call, 423-892-6272. All my information is going to be in the description below. Again, this one is going to be priced at $55,000. Uh, it's expensive, I get it, but um, so is everything else. So, um, Anyways, this one's going to be made for your 350, 450, and 3500 series trucks. And that's about all I know to tell you right now about this one. If you have any more questions, just give me a call at 423-892-6272. Email is going to be in the description. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. might be enjoyable to watch. Uh, if for some reason you want to see another video from me, go ahead and hit the notification bell. And that will notify you when I post another video. Until next time, take care and I'll see you on the next one.